What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked all battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an Illusion Zoro team that also features Sandy Shocks and Scizor. You guys are a dead deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on out of here. I have a door right there. You guys can use it. Get on out of here. Leave and never come back. Just playing, stick around a little bit longer, but definitely consider subscribing. It really goes a long way. We are pushing 20,000 subscribers. And I cannot wait to hit that milestone. But like I said, we got Zoro today. And Zoro is a Pokemon that I absolutely love. Definitely fun to use on the rank ladder, considering you can throw off your opponents with that illusion ability. But this is my first time using it in Scarlet and Violet. So hopefully we can get after it and grab some wins with it. We got Scissor in the top left corner to get us started here with today's team preview. Scissor's got Technician with the Citrus Berry as item. Faint, Bullet Punch, Close Combat, and Protect. I'm loving this moveset. Zoroark's going to be our second Pokemon, Illusion, and the Focus Sash has his item. Sucker Punch, which is a top tier dark move for this guy. We got Low Kick, Knock Off, Take Off items, and then last but not least, it's rocking out with Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be Gargonackle, a top tier Salt Pokemon for Gen 9 with Purifying Salt and Leftovers as its item. It's got Salt Cure, it's got Recover, it has Wide Guard, and it has Protect. Final Pokemon, or not final Pokemon, fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Max Caliber. And you guys have been seeing this Max Caliber all over the rank ladder ever since Series 2 really has came out and about. It's got Thermal Exchange, then Loaded Dice, Ice Shard, Icicle Spirit, Glaive Rush, and Protect. Top tier Max Caliber set right here. So strong in any team. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Mimikyu. Mimikyu is good for a bunch of different reasons, but this one is main ju made just for attacking. I was going to say it's it's made for uh, usually uh, tricking purposes, but this one's, again, made just straight for attacking considering its moveset. It's got Disguise, it's got the Life Orb, it's got Shadow Call, Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, and Curse. So maybe we get it out on the field making our, or trying to make our opponent think that we're going to pop Trick Room when we're just straight up attacking and trying to get after him. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our only Paradox Pokemon. It is going to be Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shocks is a top tier special attacker. Its special attack is through the roof. It's got Protosynthesis and a booster energy with Thunderbolt, Earth Power, Terra Blast, and Protect, which I believe to be the best moveset for any Sandy Shock build. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Illusion Zoro Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against my most hated combo in generation 9 it is arm rouge and indeed that combo is just so strong and it annoys me lose to it because i just want to beat it they also have dragapult they have torkoal fluttermane and meowskarada which i was just thinking i haven't seen meowskarada a lot on the rank ladder for series 2 but we're seeing it here in match number one hopefully we can counter it pick up a win for you guys but who should i go into this one how should i lead it i think zoro is pretty strong on its own i could hmm i could go mimic you here as a lead but i think no actually zork is going to be strong here I'm going to lead Zorok, but Zorok will change into the last Pokemon that I pick on my team. So we're going to make sure it's a solid little pick for us, but I'm going to lead Zorok. I think Scizor could also be a good lead. Sandy Shocks isn't too bad here either, but I really like Zorok here. I really, really like Zorok. So I'm going to go Zorok. I might even go Baxcalibur. Oh, I could go Baxcalibur. I'm thinking I'm going to go Baxcalibur. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Baxcalibur, Zorok. I am going to bring in Scizor in the back end. And then I think I'm just going to make him think that the Zorok is a Mimikyu, right? I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But that's the fun about Zorok is you can really throw off your opponent. So whenever you pick Zorok for your lead, it goes in as your last Pokemon in your party. So whoever you pick as last is going to change the Zorok's illusion. And then you kind of go from there. It's really just there to throw off your opponents. So I'm here, I'm ready to get after it. But the only downside to using Zoroark is after you illusion out, they know another Pokemon in your party. That's the only downside to using it. So they're gonna throw out Indeedee and Armors. I'm throwing out Baxcalibur and Mimikyu. He's probably sitting there like, okay, okay, that's not too bad, but I can just rip into these Pokemon with a nice little knockoff, super effective on the both. I'm gonna throw a knockoff here. I am going to also, I might just protect it this turn. I can't sucker punch either, so. We gotta watch out for that. I also do have a fire terror, which isn't bad, but I'm just gonna protect here. I'm just gonna straight up protect. Straight up protect. And they have the male indeed, so you cannot. You cannot follow me, right? But he's gonna turn slides into steel. Okay, that kind of hurts his soul. But, but we'll deal with it. We shall deal with it. So steel terror comes out here. I'm just straight up protecting my back sky where we're seeing what he wants to go into. And if I have to guess, it's expanding force doubling down, right? It seems the best play. 
So he goes for a Drain Punch into you. Okay. So he wants a Weak Armor proc here and Weakness Policy proc here as well, right? Yeah, he's going for he's going for all these boosted attacks. That's fine. Expanded Force is going to come out here. I'm surprised that thing out actually it outspeeds us now because of weak armor. And it does not affect my Zoro, which is huge. <laughs> which is huge. He's probably sitting there like, yo, what's going on here? He has no idea what's going on. So we end up dodging the <laughs> those moves because we have Zoro underneath this. So I'm going to go for another knockoff here. And I might even swap you into Mimikyu. And then he's probably just like, oh, it's Zoro. <laughs> We got Zora cooking here. We got Zora cooking. So I might even swap into Mimikyu just to disguise and have Baxcalibur for later. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. And then he's probably going to be like, yo, what's going on? Because I'll have two Mimikyu's on the field. Illusion Zoro coming in hot here. And that is a reason why this Zoro is going to be so strong is to counter up on uh, these combos right here. Indeedee and arm moves. Psychic moves do not affect the dark types. So he's just chilling here. He is just chilling here. But he's probably a little confuzzled right now. Doesn't really know what's going on. But yeah, I want to save my back caliber here. I'm going to be able to get rid of this armor rouge. So I'm just going to swap it to my Mimikyu here. And he ends up swapping Indeedee here as well. Okay, I'm cool with that. But that just takes off my first on priority. Like, I just hate this train. Masquerade is going to come out here. And I'm going to drop back to this, which isn't too bad. So now we're going to have two Mimikyus on the field. Looking hilarious. We love it. Double the Mims. Double the Mims. He goes for expanding force here. It doesn't affect my Zoro slot. It's just going to take off my disguise. And that's kind of exactly why I swapped to the Mimikyu. Was to use my disguise, not lose a bunch of HP onto my back caliber, And then kind of just get after the battle that way. Let's knock off with of KOU. We'll say see you later. And we'll go from there. And we shall go from there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So now, now we have Mimikyu out here. Um, hmm. We might also bring back out Indeedee, but I really like that that start. I really like that start. And we still have two Mimikyu's on the field right now. One's still Zoroark, obviously. It's just disguised right now. But one has a floppy head, and the other one's just chilling. <laughs> Dragonfold's gonna come out here. Oh, if I could Sucker Punch, I would love to Sucker Punch. But he cannot Terrasalize here. He simply cannot. I'm gonna low kick you. And... You go for the Shadow Call? Actually, Play Rough will do more, but the accuracy's low. Actually, is real low. I could go into a fairy type if I wanted to. I could go into a fairy type. But I think I'm just going to get knocked off and then just going to KO me, right? Makes the most sense. I'm just going to go for Shadow Claw. I'm not going to use my Terror here. I'm not going to use my Terror here. I'm going for Shadow Claw. Dragon Arch comes out here. He's going to actually double down and KO my... Uh, he's going to KO my Zoro here, which kind of sucks. Those dragon darts. But there goes my illusion. So you were a lot of fun. And this is when I wish I had uh, the terrain off. If the terrain was off, we would be able to rip. We would definitely be able to rip. And now Miascarada is going to go next. A flower trick's going to come out here. Can you soak this? I don't know if you can. You can. I love you. That's big time soaks. Big time soaks. That thing is orbed. We're going to be able to pop a nice little shadow call. We're going to die to life orb, but we KO the dragon pool. So that's a big time KO there. That's exactly why I use Shadow Call over Play Rough. Play Rough obviously was a guaranteed KO. I didn't know if Shadow Call could KO, but the accuracy was higher and I just wanted to make sure I got off some damage. That's perfect. Beautiful. Because just imagine we went to Play Rough there and we ended up missing that attack. Oh, that could have been real ugly. That could have been real ugly. But from here, I think it's pretty simple. We just terrestrialize my, uh, my back's caliber and we throw some uh, Icicle Spears into the Miascara slot and we pretty much just call it a game. Or can I double protect here? Can I double protect and get rid of terrain? I would like that. I would I, I would really like that. Let's see how many turns are left in terrain. There's two. Okay, so that would be that would be more so of a next next turn kind of thing. So I might even protect you here. But I can't bullet punch right now. I cannot bullet punch. I could close combat, which I think I'm gonna do. Just close combat you. And then just Terra here and Icicle Spear. The Indeedee. I think I'm with that. I think I'm with that. Yo, but solid first battle from us. Getting Zoroark out there and Illusion perfectly. You guys know I hate the Arm Rouge and Indeedee combo. So this team, I'm liking it a lot considering it can counter it pretty well. Throws them off, makes them waste turns with Expanding Force, and then you just rip into them. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So we Terrasalize our Baxcalibur. It goes for a Psychic into my Baxcalibur slot. Baxcalibur takes a nice chunk of damage. And he's going to go for a knockoff here and take off my, uh, my Citrus Berry, which kind of hurts. But again, I can protect, but... I think we're chilling here. I really do think we're chilling here. Because this should KO you, and then a close combat should finish off the Miascarada. 
So it's no problem. It's no problem. Yo, get this person on out of my lobby. Get them on out of here. Let's get it. Let's get it. The close combat flies. No shot me. Ask survive survives this. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and oh to get this video started. Let's hop into our second battle. Look to keep the win streak rolling. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a T-Tar and Lycanroc team. So we got to watch out for the weather there. But we can't really counter it considering we have no weather control on our team. But they also have Fluttermane, Skelly Dirge, Trick Room on the Frigraph. And last but not least, they are rocking Storm Drink Ashton. But I don't think we have one single water move on this team. So I'm not too worried about that. We don't even have a grass move. Actually, we technically do have a grass move if we terrestrialize this thing, right? Yeah, and, and Terror Blast. So I kind of want to bring in Sandy Shocks for that reason. Plus, it also tees off on a few other Pokemon. So I'm going to end up leading the Sandy Shocks right here. So Sandy Shocks is going to be our lead. Very fast Pokemon. Very solid. I might want to Illusion again with Zoro. I might want to do that. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Hmm. How else do I want to do this? I could go Mimikyu just to act like we're popping Trick Room if we need to, which wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad, but I also like Zoroark here. I also like Zoroark a lot here. So, you know, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make Zoroark Mimikyu yet again, and we're going to go from there. So, I'm going to go Zoroark here. I think uh, Specs Calibre is not too bad here. Gargonacle is really not too bad here either. So, you know what? I might say, actually, no. I kind of want Scizor here. First turn priority can rip into those, uh, a lot of different Pokemon. So, I'm with it. And then we'll go Mimikyu because I want to make this Zoroark a Mimikyu. I'm with it. I'm with it. So it's pretty much the same team, but we're swapping out back to for Sandy Shocks. And we're looking to grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins here. But, yo, I've been playing pretty solid here on the Rank Ladder as of recently. Always love recording for you guys. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Again, if you guys are enjoying, make sure you leave a like. If you got any questions, make sure you comment down below. I try to comment back to everybody. Haven't been commenting back as of lately, but I'm getting on top of it right after this video. But T-Tart, like rock, is going to come out here. Okay. I mean, Double Rock Slide could pop. It's definitely... Probable, right? Double rock slide is definitely probable. My booster energy is gonna come out here. Do we he there's no way he terrestrializes here, correct? There's no way he terrestrializes. I do not see it happening. So I'm just gonna double down into Lycan Rock here. I could sucker punch it, or I could just straight up protect. Does it really matter? I'm actually just gonna protect the uh, I'm just gonna protect this Mimikyu right now. Even though I think I think it's double rock slide, right? And the reason I wanna I wanna protect here is just so oh you're gonna terrestrialize? Is it that T Tar? It's a big mistake if that's the case. Flying T Tar, right? Okay. Okay. Hopefully I have my Sandy Shocks next turn. My plan here is just to protect this Mimikyu here. Or Zoroark. And then just sucker punch that like a knockdown while it has focus ash. Rock side coming out here. We block. You missed my, my... Nope, you do not miss, but hopefully no flinches. Hopefully no flinches happen here. Earth Power is going to fly. It's exactly what we want to do. Bring it down to Focus Ash, and then we can just straight up suck flinch it. I'm with it. And then I can just Thunderbolt this this slot. I, I really like that turn. That's a really solid turn from us. The Lycan Rock is obviously a problem due to, like, Endeavor. It's always a problem. And we dodge that Rock Slide. That's big time, plays. That's big time, plays. So now we're sitting in such a good spot. Sucker Punch, going to be able to take out the Lycanroc. Thunderbolt takes out T-Tar. And now, we're pretty much sitting in a perfect spot. They have no terrestrialization after that. It should be an easy double kill. And yeah, that's game, set, match. That's game, set, match. <laughs> pretty much, right? <laughs> pretty much. Yo, Zorix rolling strong here. He withdraws here. Oh, okay, never mind. He's making some plays. I thought he was going to stay in there and just give us the win. And that's a smart swap right there. This is where I terrestrialize and just get rid of it. Sucker Punch KOs you. See you later. And yeah, I'm going to take out Gastron next turn. So that's a smart swap there, but still. I'm getting ready to take that out. I'm thrashlizing the grass. Because this is exactly why I brought Sandy Shocks. Was for that Gastron. I was like, we could thrashlize in the grass. We could just rip into it. We know it can't thrashlize at this point. I really like where we're sitting. And we are still Mimikyu, <laughs> which is big time. So yeah, we're definitely going to thrashlize here. Pearl Synthesis is going to pop. He will KO, so I am going to go for a Sucker Punch into the Flutter Main. Again, just to chip up damage while we can. And then just straight up Terror Blast this thing, KO. And yeah, Sucker Punch that. Okay. I like it, I like it. I do like it a lot. So yeah, Flutter Main's obviously going to go first. A Dazzling Gleam will take out this Auroch slot, so that's why I did Sucker Punch. want to get off some damage before we go. I could have protected it, but I think we just start getting after the Pokemon here. Sucker Punch is going to fly here. 
Big time damage from Zoroku. Big time damage. The Moonblast is going to fly. I think he pretty much figured it out. And yeah, he's going to take us out. But the best part here is Magnezone is spinning the Thrasilization thing on top of his head. And he's about to just dump on the Gastrodon. He's about to say, see you later. Four times super effective. Get this thing on out my face. Get it on out of here. Yo, why does he keep spinning that thing on its head? I love it. Is this thing sashed? It's not. It just got a free focus sash? Yo, get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that. That one hurts. Earth power is going to fly here. We soak pretty well. Come on with that. Come on with that. But, but, this match is still unlocked because I have my boy Scissor in the back end. Scissor is going to have first turn priority. I could just dump on all these Pokemon right now. It's game, set, match. It is game, set, match. Game, set, and match. So, obviously, we're going to go to a Terra Blast here. Oh, no. Not that slot. Not that slot. We want to put in that slot, and then we just pull a punch. This, this match is on lock. Are they going to cancel here? I have a feeling they're going to cancel here. here. But no, which also Flutter main? He's keeping the Flutter main, but, dude, it's over. This match is 100% over. You have no outs here. No outs. Gastrodon dies here, unless it protects. That's fine. Now we just... Thunderbolt into the T-Tar slot, and we bullet punch the, uh, the Gastrodon slot. It's over. It is over. It's all over. Terror Blast gonna fly. It's gonna get blocked, but it is over. It's good games. But, yo, Scissor, I still love Scissor's design in this game. Like, the, the, the shading that they did with his character, the shine just looks so good. It looks so good. I love it. I love it. But now, we just Thunderbolt this slot. We could bullet punch that, but obviously, I'm just gonna close combat that to make sure I KO it. And yeah, it's, it's over with. Unless he swapped Gastron into Fluttermane. Then it's not over. And then we just pull apart. Like, dude, we have this match on lock. Every possibility, we have it on lock. <laughs> we have it on lock right here. Thunderbolt KOs here. See you later, T-Tar. Close combat KOs. Gastron plus we outspeed it. And then we just pull a punch of Fluttermane until it dies. Game, set, match. I was trying to think of, like, maybe there's a slim possibility that our opponent can come back here. But there just wasn't. Any Pokemon that they swapped into, any moves that they made, we had speed, we had typing advantage, everything all around. It was just game over. So we take out the Gastron, we take out the T-Tar with Thunderbolt, and now he's forced to throw out Thunder, uh, Fluttermane, and this is a guaranteed run in the battle. This is a guaranteed our opponent runs the battle. There's no shot that he stays in here and just lets Fluttermane die. It just lets Fluttermane die. So I'm just going to go Thunderbolt. I'm just going to go... B punch, and again, I just think our opponent cancels. Yep, there it is. 2-0. Oh. Let's hop into our third and final. Look for another perfect record. Third and final match coming at you guys. Going up against a weather team right here with a Bomb of Snow and then the Ice Deadly Bird Iron Bundle Pokemon. That Pokemon's top tier. Gotta watch out for that. And then they also have Talonflame for Speed Control. Uh, what is that? Great Tusk. And I cannot figure out the name of that Amoongus. What is that Amoongus's name? I don't know why I can't think of that. But we're just going to say... Paradox form of Moogus for now, but it's kind of annoying me that I can't figure it out. And then they have Magnet soon. Okay, let's get after it. Let's look for a win here in match number three. But I'm still trying to think of this Amoogus's name, and I cannot think of it. Wow, oh, dude, I hate myself. Hate myself. I'll figure it out later. I'll figure it out later. We gotta pick a team right now. Um, I do like Zora against work as an absolute boss. I also like, obviously, Scissor. So I'm definitely gonna lead Scissor for the lead. And then I also am going to bring in maybe straight Mimikyu. I think Gargonackle is going to be solid in this matchup as well. I might also lead him. I kind of like him because if they're going to lead Talonflame, I definitely want to throw some rocks into it. But the problem is Delibird is definitely a probable lead, right? Delibird could definitely be a lead. I am going to lead Max Caliber with this one. Bring Gargonackle in the back end. And then last but not least, got to bring the Sandy Shocks. Got to bring the Sandy Shocks, right? Actually, I really want Mims. I really want Mims. I like Mims up against a lot of these Pokemon. And I figured out the name. It's Brute Bonnet. I'm going to bring Mims. We're going to bring no Paradox Pokemon here. We're going to look to rip in battle, battle number three. But yeah, it's Brute on it. I figured it out. I knew it would come to me, considering I've versed it a thousand times, and I love the Pokemon. But yeah, I just couldn't figure it out in the moment. I was sitting there, I was just like, dude, what is this Pokemon's name? Cannot figure it out. But your boy's sitting 2-0. Oh. Let's get it. Let's get it. I want the perfect record. But this one seems like it's going to be tough. The bundle, obviously, is going to be the lead. Alongside with the bomb of snow and the all ice type pokemon are going to get a 10 percent defense boost so every pokemon besides my sister right now and they'll fire terror type which is not bad not bad but uh i think we just bull punch this thing all right i'm just gonna bull punch that thing and i could tear in the fire but i don't want to i'm gonna glaive rush this uh this a bomb of snow 
I'm Glaive Rushing this thing. So Bee Punch is going to fly out here. Chip up a little bit of damage. I probably should have Glaive Rushed that thing. And Icy Wind's going to fly. So we slow this down. I'm surprised that that did that little damage. So the speeds are going to drop. Blizzard's going to come through here. It's landing. Chipping up some nice damage. No freezies. Glaive Rush flying here. I could Bull Punch the Bomber Stone next turn and finish it off. So from here, obviously... Hmm. I think I, I think I just got to Bull Punch that and protect here. Just so my Glaive Rush double damage goes away. Because if you guys do not know, when you use Glaive Rush in the next turn, you will take double damage. So I'm just going to protect it out. Kind of go from there. So I do have Ice Shard for first and priority. It's not really going to do too much. But Bull Punch going to fly and pick up the KO, no problem. No problem. And at this point, I wish I would have Glaive Rush into the uh, the Deli Bird. Would have been real nice. And he's going to go for another Icy Wind. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. This thing's annoying me, but... Oh, we dodge it. We dodge it, too. Which is pretty nice, but I didn't really care if we dodged it or not, considering I'm probably just dropping a Bull Punch. But he's going to throw out his next Pokemon, and he's going to be Town. The Town Flame comes out here. Town Flame might even just be going for a Tailwind, but I highly doubt it, right? I highly doubt it. I could tear if I want to. I think I'm just going to protect you. I think I'm just going to protect Scissor, and I'm going to go for the Glade Rush to try to finish off this Deli Bird. The Protect comes out from Scissor. I think a Flare Blitz is coming in here, right? Because Talonflame's like, yo, we already have speed. Let's just get after it. A Brave Bird, that's fine. They went for Brave Bird. I guess you don't have Flare Blitz. And if this thing's going for another Icy Wind, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm totally cool with this. Because Glade Rush is going to be able to finish this Pokemon off, and we'll go from there. So smart play for us just to protect the Scissor and take that turn slowly. And to protect our back Scabra last turn. Really like it. Glade Rush is going to fly here. Later. No, we don't KO. We don't KO. I don't want KO. How don't we KO? How don't we KO? Looks like we're bull punching this slot and... I think we just Icicle Spear this guy down. I'm with it. I'm with it. Instead of Ice Shard, we're going for Icicle Spears. Because either Deli Bird protects... This, this is, these are options. Either Deli Bird does protect and we KO it, or Deli Bird protects and then the Brave Bird KOs my Scissor. Or if he's smart, he would go after my back Scalibur. So I just think we're sitting in a good spot. He ends up withdrawing the Deli Bird. I'm fine with that too. We got a bunch of Pokemon in the back end to kind of counter that. Great Tusk is going to come flying out here. The Great Tusk comes out here and you end up Brave Bird in my back Scalibur. Okay, yeah. That's a, that's a little bit smarter. So he takes out my back Scalibur. We're sitting here with uh, my Scissor and I can just beat punch through. They're going to beat punch, chip up a little bit of damage, not do anything crazy to it. And now we can get out either Gargle Knackle or we can get out Mim Mims. Mim Mims is not bad here. I do like Mim Mims. You really like my moves. Hmm. Hmm. I had a plan here. He's gonna EQ. He's free to EQ, so I'm just gonna wide guard you. He's free to EQ. There's no doubt in my mind that he doesn't go for an EQ here. At this point, I can just drop a close combat. I'm gonna start chipping up as much damage as I possibly can. Because Gargonacle can handle that Talon Flame. I think we just keep wide guarding here and kind of get after it that way. Because he's going to Thrasalize, probably just pop EQs. It seems free, right? Like, looking at his situation, it seems too free for him to pop EQs, right? Yeah, there's Thrasalization. It's got to be in the ground. He's got to be trying to rip with EQs. And it seems like that this uh, Talon Flame does not have Flare Blitz. So it should work out really well for us. <clears throat> so we still do have Terra, but... I think I'm saving it, maybe, for Mimikyu for some big damage. So we end up wide guarding here. It's just... Like, it's too easy to read this EQ, right? It's gotta be EQ. There's Brave Bird. That we served pretty well. And this, ha this has gotta be EQ. It has got to be EQ. It is not EQ. Oh my lord. It was gonna double down on you and just KO me. Wow. Wow. That kinda hurts, to be honest. That kinda hurts. That definitely hurts. That definitely hurts. Close combat's gonna fly here. Chipping up some nice damage. And now a bullet punch might be able to KO, right? A bullet punch might be able to KO here. He might be able to KO here. And I'm so surprised that that's not an EQ, right? I think 99% of the time, that's an EQ play. Did we throw out Mimikyu? I think bullet punch has a chance to KO. Here. So, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Or I could Shadow Sneak. We'll do more damage. I could tear it in a fairy if I want to. Bullet Punch should KO. 
I don't protect. I'm gonna tear it in the fairy and hmm. I wanna see I wanna see Mimikyu speed, because Mimikyu outspeeds. No, you do not outspeed the Great Toss. I was gonna say if it outspeeds the Great Toss, we can kinda just fold from there. And I wanna keep my ghost typing to be honest with you. I wanna keep my ghost typing right now. I'm just gonna shadow call this thing. I'm hoping B punch can KO. He withdraws the Great Toss. That's fine. He's gonna swap into Deli Bird. And we just pick up a free KO on the Deli Bird. The Deli Bird's dead. So you can see you later, do it. And I get off a of Shadow Claw. That's pretty good for us. Why did the Deli... You saw that. Why did Deli Bird just disappear there when I was punching it? <laughs> it just went invisible. It just went invisible. He does have Flare Blitz. Wow. This opponent's playing really weird right now. Really, really weird. Really, really weird. But now... Let's see how much damage this Shadow Claw does. Might even KO. Can you KO here? You do, and that's game, set, match. It's game, set, match. We have this one on lock. We still have our Disguise. We pick up free, uh... We can pick up a free hit. We have Life Orb Stab damage coming at you guys. This is chilling. We are chilling. Here. We are chilling. Great Tusk can come back out here. The reason he swapped this, he wanted its defensive stat back. But again, we still have Disguise. And I'm not going to risk it with the play rough. I'm not even going to use my Thrasilization. I'm just going to go Shadow Call here. I'm not even going to risk it. EQ is going to fly here. We're going to be able to, to soak because of Disguise. And then even if we don't KO with this Shadow Call here, we can Shadow Sneak next turn. Game set match. Game set match. Play is so good as of recently. Back to back winning records. I believe we, or not winning records. Back to back perfect records. I believe we grabbed ourselves a perfect record in the last video. We just went 3 0 in today's video and just dominated with this team all around. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect 3 0 record for today's video. Absolutely love this team and got to use every single Pokemon all on it. Zoroark was an absolute beast, especially with Illusion countered a Indeedy and Arm Rouge combo, and then Mimikyu was great here as well. Mimikyu had that life form, those was big time damage. Then you got Scizor, Gargonackle, Backcalver, and Sandy Shocks, who all came in at perfect times and did a lot of work. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.